Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to um, do the 6pi connection in FreeCut. Alright, so I will uh, create in a new sketch in the front view and I will create a circle like this and I will set the diameter to 100 and then I close let me go up to the view and toggle axis cross to show the arrow. I click on the sketch and go to extrude. Uh, I will extrude this one to 400 and symmetry. And I click OK. Now I have one cylinder. I want to uh, copy this one two times. So I click on the extrude and go to Ctrl C and uncheck the R and click on the screw only and click OK. Then I hit Ctrl V two times. I select uh, the first one, the 001 and go to transform and set the rotation increment to 90 degree and I grab the blue one and bring this one one unit. OK, select the second one and go to the transform and grab the red one, rotate it and click OK. So you can see uh, I have uh, three cylinders, but they are solid. So I just want to work with surface. I shift select these three and go to the solid option and set this one to false okay uh, next I will create uh, a cube in the middle and remove this area I will create a new sketch in the top view and create uh, a center rectangle from the center go out I select these two lines and hit E for ego and set the distance to 200 and a close. Next, I will extrude this one to 200 symmetric. Okay. And I will call this uh, cube to cutter. I zip select V3 and go to the plot, compile and make compile. I control selecting the compile first and the cutter later and go to cut. Next I want to split each cylinder into four pieces like this. And from there I will use in blend curve to connecting them in the middle and I will fill the surface in the middle so I drop the cut down and inside the cut is the compound I drop the compound down and I have three issues and inside each uh, issue is uh, the same sketch so it means that uh, if I change this sketch, this is true also update. So I go inside the sketch and I would select in the sketch and turn that into construction geometry by hitting the G and N. And then I create a, a center arc. Start from the center, creating for uh, center arc. something like this. I select in this part, this part and the center line and I hit C to snap it. Doing the same in here, this part, this part and the center line. Hit C, this part, this part and the center line. Hit C. 
this one, this one, and the center line. Let's see. Okay. Now I select in this point and then this point. And I hit C again. This point and this point. Hit C. Let's bring this one up a little bit. Okay. Now I select in this arc and this circle and hit E for echo. Now the sketch is fully constrained. I go out, I close. So you can see nothing changed. So I click on the cut and I go down to the data and the refine option, I set this one to false. And you can see I have many lines in here. Next, I will go to the surface workbench and I will create in plane curves in the middle. So I will start from here, control selecting this edge and then this edge. And I click on plane curve. And for this plane curve, I go down here and zero out the star size and the end size to turn this one into a straight line for you easy to see what's going on. And I slowly increase the star size to one. So you can see one is not good. So I go to negative one. Doing the same down here. Put this one to one. One is good. Control select in this edge and then this edge. And I click on plane curve. Click on the blend curve and zero out the star size and the end size. And you can see these blend curves have the wrong position. So I go down to the second edge property and the end parameter and set this one to one. And slowly increase the star size to one. One not good, so go to negative one. In here, put this to one, one not good, negative one. And the last one, control select in this edge and in this edge. And plane curve. Click on the plane curve and zero out the star size and the end size. And this plane curve also have the wrong position. And I set the end parameter instead of zero and put this to one and slowly increase the star size to one. One not good, so negative one. Increase the end size to one. One not good, negative one. Now we're ready to fill the surface. But before we do that, we need to extrude these three uh, plane curve uh, to generate three seats because I want them to um, control the tangency transition for the surface. So I click on this plane curve, which is this one, and I want to extrude this one to the to the left, basically in the a negative one for the s axis. So I go to the plot workbench and extrude this one. Uh, negative one for the S axis and I click OK. You can see the surface is pointing in this direction to the left. Doing the same down here, selecting this plane curve and is through this one down. Go to is through and negative one for the Z axis and I click OK. Selecting this plane curve and is through this one to the right. So it goes to is through and is through this one, positive one in the y axis and I click OK. Now I will use the filling tool in the surface workbench. So I go to the surface workbench and click filling tool and start to fill the surface. 
select in sequence. Now I will set the G1 continuity for all of these edges. I double click on each edge and set the G1. Select in the face and G1 for that. And then I click OK. I ship select V3 is true and I will hide it. Next, I want to make a three copy of this surface. To do that, I go to the drop workbench. In the drop workbench, I go to selecting the surface and go to modification, array tool, and polar array. Click on the reset port and the number of elements is four and I click OK. Now I have um, an array. I need to downgrade the array to generate uh, a cell. So I click on the downgrade or you can use the hotkey D and N. Now you can see in the T view I have a new cell. I go back to the prod workbench to mirror it to the outer side. I go to the prod and go to the mirror. Mirror this one in the S and Y plan. Okay. Now I will go back to the surface workbench to fill these holes. I go to the surface workbench. And using this one, the field boundaries, curves, and click on the edge edge and selecting these edges and click OK. And because I will use the array to array this one in the Z axis to generate four uh, surface around the object. So I need to fill uh, below as well. I click on the fill and click on add edge and fill the, the uh, bottom space. And also fill the, the top one, add edge and fill the, uh, the top one. Click OK. All right, now I go to the drug workbench. And with uh, this one selected, I go to uh, the same modification, array tool, and polar array. Reset point and four. OK. Now you can see we have four, uh, three, three more surface. I click on the array and go to the downgrade. All right. Now I go to the curve workbench to uh, turn this one into a solid. I go to the curve workbench. In the curve workbench, I will control selecting the cut. Okay, and the cell. And also drop this one down and select in the cell in here select the surface 002 003 and the cell and go to parametric solid now if you want to uh, create in the thickness of this object you can go to the product workbench and control selecting these faces and creating a thickness. Click on the thickness and I want to create thickness inside so I go to negative number so I go to negative show. Okay, you can in downgrade uh, decrease this one to negative 4. Okay, something like this. 
and it works fine. So this is the solution for um, six pies connection.